Well, the car you're looking at right now was the hit of the Paris Auto Show. And if you're a big car aficionado, you may know about this car already, but take a look around it and see if you can guess what it is. Well, if you haven't figured it out, okay, it's a Jaguar. Fantastic CX-75 celebrating 75 years of heritage with Jaguar. And the nice thing is it still looks like a Jag, but it doesn't look anything like a Jag. I'm not quite sure what that means, but if you look at it, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. It's got certain little key features. This here, especially, you might recognize this. I, this is reminiscent of the new XJ, which is the next newest generation of Jag. And the back end, uh, especially sexy. And of course, okay, there's a dead giveaway right there, okay. Jags have always been beautiful cars, from the XK120 to the XKE. So it's just a fantastic looking car. Um, the front end works. As you can see, it's not some silly concept. It's, you know, a, a, a millis thing off the ground. It, it's, it's a car with real road clearance. It's a car you can actually drive on the street. Uh, I'm speechless. There's one clue right there, a Jaguar. And another really big clue, the man who designed it, Ian Callum. Ian, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Congratulations. Good. Well, it looks like you got another home run here. Boy, you're doing great with the XJ and now this. Tell us about this car. Well, we wanted to design a concept car, and um, we decided to design as we'd indulge ourselves with a supercar. Right. So it's a supercar. And the main influence from this actually comes from the XJ13. Well, let's dream a little bit. We'll take a look around. Let's, let's show the rear of the car as he was talking. You know, one thing about Jaguar that, that always amazed me, they're feminine but extremely masculine cars. I, you know, like my XK120, I park it on the street and, and there'll be women around when I come back. Well, what kind of car is this? Oh, and they'll ask me questions and, oh, well, it's a, a one, Oh, and they just think it's a fantastic car. Can we see the interior? Yes, yeah, sure. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, I see the speakers and in these here. Are individual speakers. So when the speaker system comes on, they, they, they light oh, up in blue. This. Look at this here. Yeah, as you can see, look in here. And, and this is a hybrid car, isn't it? It's a hybrid. It's, uh, it's extended, uh, extended range hybrid. So you have two jet turbines powering electric motors. So is one of these electric and then the other one is gas? One's electric and one is one, a fuel. One is fuel, okay, yeah. whatever the fuel might be. Yeah. Okay, so the big question, uh, if it's not going to go in production, why, why, have, why have you done this? Well, we wanted to celebrate 75 years of, of uh, the Jaguar name. But we want to demonstrate two things. A design language that mm -hmm. we can move forward, it's modern and also the, the technical ability that we have in Jaguar. We'll demonstrate that as well. And here's the best part, because I have compromising photos of Ian, I'm going to be the first person <laughs> allowed to drive this car. You certainly are. First person at a Jaguar. First, per, first person at a Jag yeah. to drive this so. car. Well, I, I'm very excited, so uh, let's give it a go. All right, well, I'm with Paul Kelly. He, this is his child. He's the father here, very protective father, riding next to me to make sure I don't go crazy on this thing. And uh, as you can see, it's dead silent. At this point, you just step on the accelerator, correct? And you move. Look at that, starting to move. Jaguar really surprised everybody when they showed up with this car at the Paris Auto Show. But that's, that's what Jags do, you know. Quite futuristic inside, but lots of room. A lot of airiness, very open, very spacious. This uh, A-pillar is not too wide. You can see out here, good greenhouse effect to it. Uh, you don't you know, feel like you're in some dark, cramped little car. And visibility is good. Front, back. I imagine you have rear view cameras. You've got this cool little watch that pops out and you can take it with you, I guess. And I guess you stick it back in there like that. Uh, a lot of polished aluminum. That's what I like. Nothing on the car. It doesn't need to be here. Look how you get out. This is the seat. Pull for the seat. You pull this up here like that. And that uh, opens the door. So, very cool. Well, that's about it. When you're in a gazillion dollar concept car, you really can't be doing burnouts or even get away from the PR people and the cops that are all around here protecting this thing. But, uh, well, this gives you a little glimpse of the future. Let's hope, uh, let's hope Jag builds it. It's a great looking car.